first game was in um, South Africa. The naming of the squad to travel to South Africa didn't get named. And then I got a call like a couple of days later say that one of the boys was, was injured and I had to come in for cover. So I went in and then just on the Tuesday they named me and starting. And I was against the Cheetahs, we lost that game, but yeah, I was just happy to get out there and play my first game. Um, that's JK's um, last year, uh, John Kerwin, guys like um, Stephen Lortua, you know, Charles Pugetel, Frank Alai, the guys I looked up to, like starting up my career, they, those guys were all there. Ben Lamb, Francis Saili, guys like that, so I don't know, I guess just, I don't know, some of it luck, some of it just like work and stuff like that, but now I'm just, I'm just lucky I guess. Coming out of um, just normal day-to-day -day work and then actually like getting into what I've always dreamed of doing, like I guess as a young kid you always want to like looking up to your idols and stuff like that, you always want to do what they do. And just that first year was just a buzzy feeling for me, like just actually like living my dream. It feels like yesterday I played my first game, like I said, I still remember. And I don't know if I do get the chance to actually play 50 games is, I guess, dream come true. Playing for a long time, um, a lot of guys talk about it. You know, making super rugby, you know, that's it. done, you've made it. But the hard bit is actually, you know, staying in there and getting picked for for a couple of years and to play 50 games would be like amazing. So I used to work and stuff like that, like eight hours a day. You know, sometimes I work for like six days a week and stuff like that. And I guess for me, it's like a motivation. Like, you know, when you come into the rugby environment, like just the cultures, everything like that, it's different. Like just the vibe with the boys, like there's a lot of laughing, smiling and stuff like that. So. I guess that's what gets me up every morning, just to train with the boys, like come inside, have a laugh with the boys, you know, talk about stuff that's happened and stuff like that. I uh, yeah, was lucky enough to get picked from playing clubs, so when I don't get picked for the Blues, I always, you know, want to go back and play for the club, you know, that's where it all started and I guess like playing for Rovers and stuff like that, it's fun as like, you know, you just not really, like for me, coming back from the Blues, I don't really know the game plan and stuff and that's the kind of style of rugby I like playing is just freestyle rugby and yeah, just have fun. A lot of guys forget now that rugby's, I don't know, supposed to be fun, like that's what we're meant to do and yeah, I'm just excited to get into like the, the actual game end of it, so. I think a lot of the young guys, you know, they're, um, I guess, showing promises, um, you know, a lot of the guys I hang out with, like um, Tanielu, you know, he's a young guy, but he's pretty strong on the field, like he's, bump people off and stuff like that and you look at his age he's pretty young. You know, a guy like Hoskins, um, last preseason uh, for this year he was outstanding, you know. Looked like Aki for a bit there, but <laughs> no, it's good. You know, I've had like a lot of coaches over the last couple of years, but no, it's amazing. Been amazing uh, working with um, Leon and Dan and stuff like that. Just like a lot of the new stuff they have to bring into the team and it's going to be a different year. Um, I know we say that every year, but I guess the reality of it is it is going to be a different year. Like every year brings a new adventure and stuff like that. And I reckon looking from um, this past um, preseason, I think our Ford packs, you know, I don't want to hype them up or anything, but I see like a lot of change in them. Like they're just, yeah, I guess different. We always talk about it that. The Ford, is, the Ford pack is like the key to winning games, so I guess just their dominance in the Ford packs going to be key this year.